just headed on my walk to go work out at the gym this morning and look at how beautiful this huge flower is on our cactus. It has been blooming like crazy and we actually just planted it. So it's kind of crazy, but aren't those absolutely beautiful? The sad thing is, is they're gone within a day or so. Good morning. Welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. As you can see, I am walking. I showed you the flower on my cactus. So absolutely beautiful. So what I'm doing is walking to the gym, doing my final upper body workout before I head to surgery. Absolutely insane. In fact, the day you guys see this video, I'm having surgery. So my surgery is actually scheduled for Wednesday morning, bright and early, about 8 a.m. So when you see this video, I'm probably actually in surgery. That just blows my mind, that's so crazy. So I thought that I would get in a little extra long walk today because it's beautiful. It's almost 60 degrees and it is 6.30 in the morning, so we'll take it. I'm going to, of course, do my upper body workout, walk home. I have a very, very busy day today. I have to teach my Macros 101 class. It's the second one in my little six week class series that I'm offering. I'm getting my nails done. We're gonna actually be taking some nails off. We'll go through all of that on the way to the nail place. And then I have several coaching calls, just kind of getting everything ready to leave. I leave here in a couple of days. So it's just actually a very busy day today. So of course I'll take you guys along with me. So if you're excited, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you're not, you're not going to want to miss my surgery vlog. I'm actually filming and vlogging my entire plastic surgery and my friend Amy's plastic surgery. So you're not going to want to miss that. Of course, come on over, follow me on Instagram. That's where I'll be updating daily throughout my surgery. And then of course, make sure you're in my Facebook group, because again, that's kind of how you can keep up with me a little bit more day to day. So I'm going to enjoy my walk. It's beautiful. I don't even listen to music, podcasts, nothing. I just enjoy the scenery and the nature. So I'm going to finish my walk to the gym. Let's get our workout in so that we can get home and have some breakfast because I'm already hungry. Even though I already had protein coffee this morning, I'm starting to get hungry already. My workout is done. Whew, that was about 45 minutes of upper body. I'm actually sweaty, which is interesting. I think they've been keeping the gym a little bit more warm. Plus it's warm outside. But man, I'm pooped and I'm hungry. I am hungry this morning. So I have about a 20-ish minute walk home. And then I'm going to change my clothes into what I'm going to wear today. And then we're going to go into the kitchen and make some breakfast because... I really need some protein and some carbs to kind of refuel my body after my workout. Okay, I'm home from the gym. I'm too hungry to change before I eat. So I did put together my breakfast. So I have one serving of the root veggie frittata that I made in meal prep. This is actually my last serving. By the way, this is so good. So if you missed last Monday's meal prep, I'll link it down below for you. Really, really good, very filling. And then I'm having some berries, some blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. So let me eat breakfast and the next time you see me, I will actually be put together for the day. And I am ready for this busy day. Don't mind my vanity chair being over here. Lola's under my desk and I, I couldn't move her. She's so comfortable. Speaking of Lola, I've been sharing on my Instagram that she hadn't been feeling very well after her last chemo treatment. She was actually pretty sick for a couple of days. So sick that I had to go get her additional medication from the oncologist. But with that medication, she is doing great. She is back to her normal self. She's feeling amazing. She's eating, she's drinking, she's playing. So I feel relieved about that and I'm glad that we have this additional medication on hand because this next week's chemo is the most intense one of the four week protocol and she's going to be home alone with dad. So I wanna make sure that we have medication and things for her on hand. Actually, I'll show you her. So she's right here and my vanity chair goes there. So I didn't wanna move her but 
Are you feeling better, Missy? Yeah, you're feeling back to your normal self. I know, baby. Good girl. And then this one, who's usually with dad, is sleeping on the dog bed in here. So I'm so relieved, so relieved that she's feeling better. And I hope for Troy's sake and my sake, so I don't worry about her the entire time I'm gone, that she doesn't have these negative side effects with this next chemo. So fingers crossed. I have about an hour and 15 minutes before my macros 101 class. And I wanted to share with you guys my outfit of the day. Of course, no surprise to anybody, my outfit is from Timu. I have been loving this whole combination this outfit it's so comfortable it's perfect for summer so quickly let me show you what I'm wearing starting with this cute little top you know my obsession with leopard and I like this one because it's not over the top leopard but you still get that fun leopard pattern at the top this is the color block scoop neck tank top it actually comes in gray and black it's $11.48 in sizes small through extra, extra large. I picked mine up in dark gray only because I have so many black leopard things and I picked mine up in a size large. It is flowy. It is a little bit oversized as you saw in the try on. It's pretty long as well. So it'd be really cute with shorts or leggings or biker shorts for summer. I decided though to pair it with these cropped jeans. I don't own a single pair of light wash denim, not a single pair. And I really wanted to add a pair to my collection. And I saw these on Timu and instantly fell in love with them. I love a good distressed jean and I wanted something cropped for summer. And these are the high rise cropped and ripped light wash jeans. They actually come in light blue, which is the color I got and dark blue in sizes small through extra, extra large. Mine are in a size large, which is a US 8 to 10. They fit great. They actually have quite a bit of stretch to them. So if you're between sizes, you could probably size down. And I really liked the whole button fly design, the rips in the knees, and that really kind of raw hem. I really think I like light wash denim, and I'm probably going to pick up a few more pairs. And then these earrings, I've been loving these. Let me show you. These are interesting. So these earrings actually do not have a back. This little part right here goes right into your ear, and it actually stays in your ear with no back. These are the exaggerated large spiral earrings with swirl. They come in gold and silver. They're a whole whopping 71 cents, which is amazing. The jewelry on Timu is super affordable. Really nice, heavy duty, high quality, very comfortable. They are not super heavy, but they're heavy duty, if that makes sense. Like they, they feel really nice quality, but they're weightless in the ears. And I just like that whole boho swirly design. I've been wearing these a lot and really 71 cents. You can't beat it. And then last are my shoes. So I have been wearing the living heck out of these shoes. I have been loving them. They are so incredibly comfortable. You can style them down you can elevate them and style them up. These are the flat bottom sandals with the retro ankle strap. They're $8.97 in sizes six through 10. I have mine in a nine and a half, which is my normal size and they fit perfectly. A few of you have asked, do the shoes run true to size? Yes, I have never gotten a pair that wasn't my normal size that didn't fit me. And I love the whole suede look of these. I love the sole of these, how they look kind of wicker. They're so comfortable. And I appreciate the strap around the ankle Ankle, the shoe just feels a little bit more secure on the foot. If you're not into slides or flip-flops, these sandals are perfect and they're $9. They're only $9 and I love that they're this camel brown color so they are super, super versatile and go pretty much with everything. And side note, they also come in black if you're interested in black. I think I may pick up a pair of black as well because I actually really like them and wear them a lot and seriously nine dollars you, you can't beat it i will go ahead and link all of the pieces that i'm wearing today down below for you i do have a 30 percent discount for new customers i'll put that right here on the screen for you and don't forget that timu is always offering discounts on their website so even returning customers can get additional discounts on the already extremely low prices so again everything will be linked down below for you but that's my little outfit of the day. I do have my first thing of water going. I'm going to prep and get ready. I've been making some notes for my macros 101 class. And then the minute that is over, I have to leave to go get my nails done. So I'll have literally 20 minutes after the macros class to get to my nail place. And you already know that I'm going to be stopping for a coffee time permitting. So I've had back to back coaching calls all day. I actually have another one in less than 30 minutes, but I'm going to make a snack and I'm going to make a protein shake. So I'm going to first First, use the Fairlife chocolate milk. I love this for protein shakes. It adds that perfect amount of chocolate and sweetness. I will gladly take the extra points and calories for this. It is 140 calories for one cup and it has 13 grams of protein. It tastes 
just like full sugar chocolate milk. Absolutely delicious, and you get in that pack of protein. And then I'm going to use my Motivate Protein. I've shared this with you guys on my channel that Motivate recently released their own protein powder and it is phenomenal. It is 100 calories per serving with 20 grams of protein. They have chocolate and they have vanilla. Today we're going all the chocolate vibes, so I'm going to use the chocolate protein. There is less than one gram of carbohydrates, nice clean ingredients, super, super delicious. You guys know how much I love Motivate. I use all of their products, their greens, their burn, their recovery everything and I have been really really loving their protein powder the chocolate is very chocolatey very cocoa -y. it has a nice distinct chocolate flavor very different than most chocolate proteins on the market and then the vanilla is just really sweet really kind of that buttery vanilla really really good you can't go wrong with either one I will go ahead and link Motivate down below with 20% off for you site-wide so you can actually grab the protein powder, restock your burn, your recovery. They have new repackaged capsules in detox and the burn capsules if you don't want to use the powder. You already know, I really truly love everything from Motivate, so I'll link them down below for you. And then I'm going to pop in a frozen, half of a frozen banana, I should say, and we're gonna have a whole chocolate banana protein shake. I kissed you I don't want to wait How long has it been since you held me I don't want to wait Alrighty, we're going to pour it into a glass so I can sip on it during my coaching call and then I always like to top my protein shakes with whipped cream. It just gives me all the milkshake vibes. This looks so good, so thick and creamy. So right now I'm using the birthday cake whipped cream from Sam's Club. Both my dogs are in here because they know that I put whipped cream on my protein shake and then they get some whipped cream. So there it is. We have a chocolate banana protein shake. Use your whipped cream. So good. Definitely that rich cocoa flavor from the Motivate chocolate. The chocolate and the vanilla, you can't go wrong. And don't forget, I'll link Motivate down below with 20% off. Macros 101 is over. I literally have 15 minutes before my nail appointment. I really want to get a coffee and it's about five minutes to the coffee shop and then from the coffee shop to the nails is like five minutes. So let's hope we can get through the line at the coffee shop in the five minute window. So nail situation. So I didn't even realize that for my plastic surgery, they don't want you to have acrylic nails on your index finger. You can have them on your other nails, but this finger, they need to put that little contraption on there that measures all the information. And they also need to be able to see your nail bed because I guess that indicates how you're doing health-wise after your surgery. At least this is what I'm being told by the, the plastic surgeon office. So originally I was going to just take the nail off of my index finger and then got to thinking, well, how am I gonna go get a fill after surgery? I'm gonna be recovering and it's very unlikely that in two to three weeks or even a month that I'm gonna be up for going and getting a full set of nails on. So what I decided to do was to just take my acrylic nails off, which obviously I'm bummed about, but it'll also give my nails a chance to breathe. And then I did reach out and ask if I could have any polish on my nails at all. And she said only clear, again, because they wanna see the nail bed. So that's my plan is I'm going to have all of the acrylics removed. Here's kind of where I'm at with my nails. I still have the Mardi Gras nails from New Orleans on. I'm gonna have them removed. And then I think I'm just going to have some type of nail hardener or clear coat put on my nails just to protect them because you know how they're kind of soft and flimsy after acrylics for so long. So that is the plan. And then after my nails, I don't think it's going to take the traditional hour that a fill takes to take them off. I don't know, maybe it will, but my, but Troy asked if maybe I could pick up something for lunch on the way home. So we may be eating out for lunch today. We'll just have to kind of see how time goes because I actually have a coaching call at 12 30. So I need to make sure that I'm home by 1230 for that. So let's cross our fingers that we can get through the Dutch Brothers line quickly. Coffee check. I have three minutes and I'm just waiting in line to get out of here. They actually brought my coffee out the side door, but I have to wait to be able to scoot around. I should make my nail appointment just in time. Okay, they're gone. My nails are gone. So I just did just clear polish over my natural nails. 
she still charged me $55, which is what I usually pay, I think, for a fill, whatever. They're, they're done. I've got clear polish, perfect for surgery. I literally have eight minutes before my coaching call, so I'm clearly not going to make it home. So I went ahead and stopped at Culver's for some lunch. That was Troy's request. What I normally get at Culver's, so this is a little tip if you're eating out, I usually get the kids' meal because it's a smaller portion. I usually don't eat everything in the kids' meal, especially the kids' meal here at Culver's because it it comes with a small burger, a fry, an ice cream, and a drink. So usually all I eat is the burger, which is plenty for me. It's enough food to tide me over. And then I order Troy just a burger, like a big deluxe burger. And then he eats my fries and eats my ice cream and drinks the diet soda since I don't drink carbonated beverages. So that's kind of how I navigate eating out is generally off of the kids menu. It's more affordable. It's a smaller portion and it's usually a little less calories and points. I actually had a little bit higher protein lunch planned. So we're going to be playing catch up a little bit with our protein today, which is not a big deal. Hopefully I get my food in time for my call. I'm just going to take my call in the car and then I'm going to head home for the rest of my calls today. But it's kind of a sad day in the nail world today. So I'm going to make a bowl for dinner tonight, keeping it pretty simple. Troy isn't hungry since we had the Culver's for lunch and he had a burger and fries and all the good stuff. So I'm gonna make myself a quick, healthy meal. So this is that pulled chicken that I got at Sam's Club in my grocery haul this last Saturday. It is very good. It's kind of a smoky hardwood chicken, really delicious. And then I made up some of the Idahoan mashed potatoes. I think these are the cheddar sour cream. Unfortunately, I'm out of gravy or I would make a KFC style bowl, but I am going to add in some edamame. This is just pre-pilled, pre-cooked, ready to go edamame, which is going to give me lots of extra protein. And then I think I might have some fruit as well. I don't know. We'll see what else I'm going to have, but let me put together the bowl. So here's my dinner. I think I'm going to stick with the bowl because I'm going to have fruit for dessert. I'm still debating on exactly what that dessert looks like, but I'm going to have this bowl. So I have a half of a cup prepared of the mashed potatoes. I have four ounces of the pulled chicken and a quarter cup of edamame. This looks amazing, even without gravy. I wish I had gravy, but this still looks super, super good. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. So my dessert tonight, we're making it healthy. I wanna point out that fruit is an amazing, amazing dessert choice. It satisfies that sweet tooth, but gives you some fiber. I topped it with a tiny bit of that birthday cake whipped cream. I have blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, grapes, and pineapple. I'm actually really excited for this dessert. joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. Please send your good vibes as I am currently in surgery. I would appreciate all the good vibes that you could send my way. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. You're not going to want to miss the vlog about plastic surgery. And I do have quite a bit of content going up while I am out as well. Don't forget to check out the description box for everything that I shared with you today all of my favorite things, my Facebook group and nutrition coaching, personalized macros and calories, a must. And I do have that one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.